Hi guys, welcome to another process video. This is 128 entitled Magic. So I am kind of taking a break from my homemade, uh, my May and June homemade kit and sharing with you a, a page, a double page spread using some pocket page products. This is the ones that I'm using is from a snap collection from Simple Stories and it is actually geared toward Disney and so I thought it would be perfect because um, these pictures are of me and my family when we went to California Adventure in the summer of 2017. No, 16, sorry, 2016. And so I wanted to show you that um, two things that I wanted to share with this uh, with this layout is first if you like to collect pocket page products the 3x4 cards in the 4x6 but you don't do any pocket scrapbooking or project life you can definitely incorporate that with your layouts and um, you can just format it the way I'm doing it here that it's kind of I'm pretending like um, you know my um, my page has to fit in certain sheet protectors, the ones that are, are pocket style, and but it's not. It's just adhered to a to a white paper. So you can totally do that, like what I'm doing here, where everything is kind of boxy, I should say, or has really rigid edges. And then another the reason why I wanted to share this is um, if you are not into pocket scrapbooking like I am, you can actually cut your items to make it, to use it like a um, some embellishments. So um, like over here, I have layered some 3x4 cards over each other um, so that, example, that card that has the silhouette of the Magic Kingdom, um, I've cut that uh, a little bit smaller than 3x4 so I can mat it on a different piece of 3x4 card and use it as a mat for that. So I like it. I like using those pocket pages for that because then you can still use some items that are kind of on trend right now, but it does not... It, the, you don't have to give up the style of scrapbooking that you're already doing. And plus, you know, with multi-photo layouts like this one, you, you know, you don't really need a ton of stuff. So that um, pocket card that I am adhering has some lines on it, and that's where I'm going to handwrite my journaling. And then, as you can see, I have cut out some of these items. This is actually from a pattern paper that I got um, from a kit but I am using it as embellishments. And so our 3x4 cards, if you look at them, they also have some small details on them that you can definitely cut and make into embellishments like this, these um, cameras that I'm cutting. And um, that kind of geotag accent was also cut from a 3x4 card. And then I'm going to adhere that as an embellishment too. So there's so many things that you can do with um, pocket cards. And I'm going to be stamping my day. I, be I believe I'm going to stamp it on top of that um, journaling block that I had planned. So I have handwritten my journaling there and then I'm going to stamp my date on top, making sure I have a foam plate on the bottom and then uh, I pulled out my homemade enamel dots because I wanted to add a little bit more dimension to this page so as you can see it went by pretty fast because I have a ton of photos all of them are horizontal and then I added those pre basically pre-designed um, pocket cards which made it really fast and easy and so I wanted to add a little bit more um, dimension to this page and so I'm adding some homemade enamel dots. If you have not heard of homemade enamel dots, um, it's super easy to make it. There's a lot of tutorials online. Basically you get the perler beads and then you bake them so that the, the holes in the center will actually form together and make a dome. So it will look like enamel dots. I haven't done that in a while because as you can see, I have a ton still in the container. And that container, if you're interested, is actually a pill container that I purchased at Daiso a long time ago. And I just 
what I did was I punched some flowers and then the centers of the flowers are the corresponding circle for that um, enamel dot. So there is the close-ups of my page. Of course, I adhered the enamel dots with some glue dots and um, I also added some uh, phrased and word stickers from Simple Stories. And I will catch you guys soon. Bye!